JFT just fair and direct. Good morning everyone and welcome to JFD's daily market review for February the 15th. I am Harala Pissuros, head of research here at JFD and I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what that what are today's important events and how they could affect the markets. But before we start, let's read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be, co should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds uh, to read the rest and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, the US dollar traded higher against all but two of the other major currencies on Monday and during the Asian session Tuesday. It, lo it lost ground versus CHF and JPY, while it gained the most versus uh, the Euro, the Aussie and the Kiwi. Now, the strengthening of the US dollar and the safe havens franc and yen combined with the weakening of the risk-linked Aussie and Kiwi suggests that the markets traded in a risk-off fashion yesterday and today in Asia. Indeed, turning our gaze to the equity world, we see that uh, major European shares uh, were a sea of uh, red with uh, the negative appetite, albeit softer, rolling into the US and the Asian sessions. <coughs> Remember that at the beginning of last week, investors had been adding to their risk exposure, but we stayed reluctant to call for a long-lasting recovery ahead of the CPIs and the looming geopolitical tensions in Ukraine. Indeed, the picture changed after the US inflation numbers uh, exceeded their own forecasts and after the White House warned that Russia could attack Ukraine any day. Now, Fed bets and geopolitical tensions remained the main market driver yesterday as well. Uh, with regards to the FOMC and its uh, future plans, yesterday St. Louis Fed President James Bullard reiterated his view for a faster pace of interest rate liftoffs adding that the central bank needs to ratify market expectations about its uh, upcoming moves. In our view, this means that Bullard may be in favor of a rate path faster even than the current market pricing, um, uh, even than, than the current market pricing suggests. Let's not forget that last week Bullard called for a 50 basis points hike at, at the March gathering. According to the Fed Fund Futures, market participants are now fully pricing in more than six quarter point uh, rate increases by the end of the year, with uh, some of them uh, indeed betting on a double hike in, um, in March. Now, with regards to the Ukraine saga, President uh, Volodymyr uh, Zelensky urged, urged uh, Ukrainians to, fl to fly the country's flags and sink uh, the national anthem on uh, Wednesday, uh, the day some uh, media, some, uh, media have uh, seated as the possible start of, uh, of a Russian invasion. This may, may have prompted participants to reduce even further their risk, their, uh, risk, their uh, risk exposure by seeking shelter to safe havens. So, unless we get reliable headlines that the resolution is more probable than an attack, we see the case for equities to continue drifting south and safe havens to stay supported. Besides headlines uh, surrounding the Fed and Ukraine overnight, we also got the minutes from the latest RBA monetary policy decision, while today, during the early European session, the UK released its employment data for December. The RBA minutes just confirmed uh, the message we got from uh, the meeting statement, namely that although inflation has picked up, it is too early to conclude that it is sustainably within the target But So, with that in mind, investors have barely touched their uh, bets with regards to uh, future rate hikes. As for the UK data, they came in slightly better than expected with average weekly earnings including bonuses accelerating somewhat instead of slowing as the forecast suggested. Although this could be a sign that, um, that inflation could continue trending north and that faster hikes may be appropriate by the Bank of England, the pound did not react. Perhaps investors prefer to wait for more recent data, like the CPIs for January due out tomorrow. 
Now as for the rest of today's events, from Germany we have the, J the ZW survey for February. The current conditions index is expected to have risen to minus 7 from minus 10.2. While the economic sentiment one is forecast to have inched up to 53.5 from 51.7. As for the Eurozone as a whole, we get the second estimate of GDP and the employment J and the employment change for the fourth quarter. The second GDP estimate is expected to confirm its preliminary print, while no forecast is available for the employment change. So that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much for watching and listening. For those who are interested in learning about the main events of the week much earlier, you can subscribe to the weekly Market Outlook webinar, which I'm holding every Monday at 8 o'clock a.m. GMT. You can find the link in the description below. So, goodbye, have a great day, a greater weekend. Excuse me, uh, have a great day, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again uh, tomorrow. JFT, just fair and direct.